Hey guys, Abysmal here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. Well, now that we have our sledgehammer, we can actually do a little bit of work around the house to make it extremely safe for us so we can stay up here uh, indefinitely without any problems. Uh, the first things I wanted to do today though is, uh, remember I had those two dog whistles um, because I, I lost my save and then I was able to use these again. So I haven't been able to, I haven't looked for any dogs and I figured we could do that right now. Uh, let's take a look, see what dogs we got. I uh, got a beagle and and a husky. Oh, sweet. We got a husky, man. That's awesome. There's our pack dog. Our pack dog is all taken care of. Do we have any ropes on us? I know I have the big hiking bags somewhere. There we go. We got three big hiking bags. Uh, let me get some duct tape and actually uh, make these uh, really good hiking bags, and then we'll put that on our dog here. Um, duct tape? Any duct tape? I know I have a whole bunch of duct tape. I just don't remember exactly where I put it. Um, let's see. I don't need to zoom all the way out. Let's go ahead and take a look downstairs. I still have to organize everything. Um, I wasn't going to do that until I actually finished uh, making this area secure, taking out all these stairs and stuff. Shouldn't be a problem here. We'll be doing that right now, actually. So, uh, yeah, there are some more duct tapes. Definitely a couple more. This has kind of been my catch-all, is uh, th this, like, bin right here, these two bins been catching all my stuff uh, we read a lot of books we can now make a uh, anvil and stuff so that should pop up when I go into uh, blacksmithing I believe let's see uh, I got a distillation death with suicide note oh that's cool I never noticed that before we can make a suicide note now <laughs> that's funny all right let's take a look at our anvil yeah we can make anvils now so we will need a lot of iron uh, right now I'm staying away from actually making that because of uh our bandaging situation right now because we burnt ourselves so many times but we'll, we'll go ahead and take care of this first uh, we don't need to clean it it looks like it looks like it's all set we just take care of that with the uh, rip sheets all right that one's gone so we're good there all right uh, we're getting a little peckish we did pick up a lot of food on the way um, so but we got this husky and let's go ahead and make our bags right now all right we're gonna make oh does it not let me do it now like craft duct tape pouches. Oh, yeah, okay, we need two for each. I forgot we gotta make the pouches uh, first and then we attach them. That's right. Um, can we make another one? I guess it needs a lot. It needs a lot of tape now. I remember it didn't need so much before, so we'll just put all these on us real quick. So, craft duct tape pouch. Um, I think we can make two more, right? I think that's what it did say, right? Come on, man. Why is it using up so much freaking tape? We make three. We need one more, don't we? Yeah, we do. So we're at three pouches. Any more duct tape? Maybe. Hmm. Maybe downstairs. If I can make one more, that'd be great. Because I think it's two duct tape pouches per a backpack, if I'm not mistaken. Just need a little bit more duct tape. And I think I have some around here somewhere. If not, maybe on a zombie or something out here. Huh. Well, let's see what we can do. Uh, we could probably do one, attack, attach those, and yeah, it's two pouches per. Uh, yeah, so that's gonna take up two of them. I need a little more duct tape for one more, but that's okay. Uh, I think we'll just do it this way. So we're gonna attach. Oops. We're gonna attach. We're gonna make some ropes here real quick. Got plenty of dead dead zombies to make ropes with. She ropes. Yeah, we need all four of them. Just happy to have a pack dog. Makes life so simple. A lot easier to move around and do stuff with. Yeah, I think we just need one rope and then, yeah, attach bags to dog. Um, yeah, I would have to make another duct tape pouch one. So that's fine. We'll just do regular right now. And then we have should have a big hiking bag with uh, pouches. And then when we get uh, uh, some more duct tape or when I find some, we'll go ahead and you know deal with that. All right, so we'll put this one in here for right now. Um, we're going to uh, equip our beagle to our secondary. So I probably want to clear out all my bags real quick. But before we do that, I mean, I'll just put the dog down for right now. Because i that's moving. i got to move stuff around. Um, it's not the beagle. Well, the beagle can go downstairs too. Little tiny beagle. Oh, look at you. You're so cute. <laughs> and we'll put our pack dog right here. And that's fine. Our husky is going to be our carrying dog for our big pack uh, eventually here. And let's uh, first... Let's just put this in our inventory here. 
And then we gotta cry. We gotta get some more ropes and stuff. Hopefully this doesn't weigh me down too much. Yeah, heavy load. It's not awful, I guess. All right. Uh, any clothing? Let's go ahead and craft sheet ropes. I'm making tons of these. And don't make these into ropes because it takes two regular ropes uh, to make a sheet rope down, or just two sheet ropes. So actually, it takes up four sheet ropes in uh, in comparison to make one. Uh, to make one of the ladders down, you know, one of our little sheet rope, adding a sheet rope to the to the top level. Okay, we'll just craft all this up. I guess I could have put the sledgehammer back. No reason to have it on right now. And then we'll we'll get it out here in a second. Um, and duct tape pouches and things like that, they could all move over. That's fine. Are we? Why are we still heavy? What what are we carrying? Oh, it's all the sheet ropes, rip sheets and sheet ropes. Okay. That's right, we'll just move some of that over. I got 11 sheet ropes. Alright, let's go place these sheet ropes real quick. Eat some chips too, while we're at it. Let's see. Do we need a whole bag? Possibly. Yeah, let's eat the rest. Okay, we'll move the binoculars over. And... Anything else? How's water doing? It's okay. All right, uh, this this one right here, this window, not liking it. Um, let's go ahead and open this window. And then we'll add a sheet rope to this one. So we need hammer and nails. Okay. I think this will be our, our going out window. Okay. Add sheet rope. Sweet. Uh, probably this one too. Um, oh, it's on the other side of the window. Okay. And then this one we'll bar up. We'll just bar that one up. And uh, I should probably remove, like, see, it says smash window, and it already looks broken. Yeah, some of these, some of that is just weird. So it's a broken window right now. But we have a sheet rope down now from here. That's good. I'd like to put some upstairs too. I'd like to put one right here. This would be great. Um, so open window. See, I hate this graphic. See, it's showing that these are boarded up windows, but they're not really. And then this one too. That one's just open. Wow. Okay, let's just make sure all these windows are not a problem. Because I don't want to, like, accidentally, you know, go down one of these and break a leg. Okay, open window. Okay, we got some zombies outside too. There we go. So we got sheet ropes now over here. I could put one over here too. And in here isn't a bad idea. Let's um, open window. And add a sheet rope. Oh, are we out? We're out of sheet ropes. Yeah, we gotta go get some more. That's fine. We gotta go kill some zombies downstairs, it sounds like anyways. And then we'll tear out this uh, these stairs on both sides. And that'll make it pretty safe. Won't have to deal with zombie stuff anymore. Okay, what do we got? I heard someone. Huh. I know I heard some zombies around here. Make some sheet ropes over here, probably. Oh, here, there they are. There they are. You guys were over here. You guys are just ruining my crafting time, man. Uh, also, um, might be able to get in a little bit of farming. Uh, it's getting a little bit later, but I think we're okay. We could probably do a little bit. A little bit of farming, get a farm going, and also uh, do some foraging, too, because that would be a good idea. Okay, so that took care of that. Don't see any more zombies here. Okay, just make some more sheet ropes, and we'll put, bring them upstairs. Okay. Alrighty. So we got this sheet rope right here by the door, which is cool. We can go in and out there. And since this is going to be our crafting area in here, I would like to have some in, ins and outs right here. would be nice. You know, uh, I don't like being all the way around all these windows. But, you know, we can do it. So add sheet rope there. And how about this one? Uh, open window. And we'll just make sure this whole side is easily accessible in and out. Okay. How about you? 
And can we add? Yeah, we can. All right, so we got access on that side, and then we'll probably need access over here too. But it looks pretty good. We can get in and out now. Um, I d definitely would like some way down here though. This would be nice. A nice area to be able to get in and out of. Okay. And I think that's good. I mean, we'll be fine right there. I know I put uh, sheet ropes on all of them before, but I'm running out of sheet ropes, so we're just going to do it this way. And then same with open here. And there we go. Alright, so we're all we're all set. I just want to make sure these don't say climb through. They have to actually say open window. So then I don't like accidentally press the button or something. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go get our sledgehammer out. And then knock out these stairs. Oh man, I have the sound so loud for me. The um, music is playing pretty loud for me. Give me one second here. Turn it down for me. I was playing Ark and everything, and uh, I, I keep the sound super loud in my headphones because you know I want to hear players come. All right, so we're taking out stairs, and then we're gonna build platforms up there. So maybe I should bring some pallets of wood up there if I have any like laying around here. I think I still have some up there actually. Let's take a look before I uh, knock this down because then I want to like make sure that I don't walk over it and fall through. Um, those are bricks, those are bricks. Um, how about here? No, do I, do I not have any lumber just sitting around here? That's a pile of lumber, right? Yeah, okay, we got a pile of lumber up here. We can definitely patch up all the holes we're gonna make. Also, I've been wanting to knock through the wall kind of like maybe even like right here. Be kind of nice, I don't know. Also, we need to uh, make stairs to go upstairs, but that's uh, later on. We'll do that. So let's go ahead and when we're level six, we're not even level six on, on carpentry yet. Okay, get that going. Man, we're hungry. Always hungry. I'm eating chips. That's uh, my, that's my, what I'm surviving off of right now. Yeah, I guess a little bit more, huh? Couple bags of chips. That's healthy, man. All right, we're gonna destroy this. Now zombies won't be able to come upstairs and I can start really uh, crafting and doing stuff. I hate these little banisters, how they stay right here. So we'll get rid of them too. And this one. Okay. So that's all set. No zombies are gonna be able to get in from up there right now and then we just need to go down over to this side that has the other set of stairs and we'll take these ones out too. Plus I don't like the way this area loaded for some reason. It looks like like I'm floating over the air so I might even just not use this area at all because look at this it's all like not loaded in correctly. Like eh, I don't like it at all. So I'm probably just going to destroy most of this. Okay let's destroy this. And get rid of these banisters too, just because they look bad. So zombies can't get up this way at all. And I don't want to use this side at all, but uh, maybe just make it safe in case. I don't know. No, I'm just not going to use it. I'll probably just uh, barricade the wall up over there a little bit. Okay, so let's go upstairs. Okay, that works pretty well. And so it's way upstairs, uh, right over here. And uh, we're not, we can't even, I could knock down this wall and I was talking about doing that too so we can get in and out right there, but I don't even want to go over there. So I'm all right with leaving that for now. And then I wanted to also knock out the wall over here because I hate using the back door to my, like go through my room to go through it. So I think I'm just gonna go through this one. We'll see, Let's see what, what we're gonna do. Cause there is stairs right there and I, hopefully it doesn't get in the way. No, it should be all right. If I just knock out like this right here, this wall, I think we'll be all right. I always get scared doing things like this, knocking out walls and stuff. And I think I'm even gonna tear tear that out. Yeah, we'll take the power cord and pen out. But I don't I don't want this here, so we'll just destroy it. Okay, that looks good. Now we have access in and out right there and right there. Okay, that's perfect. 
Okay, so what we got to do is we got to... I'm going to tear out this banisters, I guess, real quick. Uh, just so they're not there. And then we're going to go ahead and pave it over with uh, some floors real quick. So this is just base preparation day. You know, we're doing a little bit of preparation. Not a lot of zombie killing, so I apologize. Just showing you uh, where we're going to be at. And I'll put a pause in right now for you guys. I'm just going to put in the floors and stuff. And when we're finished... Uh, I'll bring you guys back and maybe we'll go and uh, set up our farm and do a little bit of foraging today also. I think that would be good. Can I hit it from here? Oh, thank you. Okay, that takes care of all that banister. So I'll put in a little pause uh, for you guys and show you guys the completed project. All right, be back in a minute. All right, you guys, I'm back and I got uh, the stairs down and finished and found uh, with the decorative tiles uh, something that closely resembles the tiles that we have on the ground here. It's not great, but you know, hey. Now we have all this uh, area to work with also. Um, added some more sheet ropes in the in other areas so then we can have access uh, to, the, to the at least the second floor pretty easily. We don't really have the greatest access for the top roof yet. I could add some. I'm not, I didn't want to make fences and stuff up there before I do that. Uh, the next thing I want to do though is to make our farm. And that's kind of what, what we want to really try to get done today. So we're going to go ahead and make a farm. It's going to make us tired uh, doing this. That's all. I never understood why it makes you tired. Whatever, man. You know, I have to dig. You know, every time you dig, man, it just makes us more tired. Huh? Where are we at? We're just at tired. That's fine. And we're just going to make a little plot here. Uh, four deep is probably good enough. And then we're going to get our IBC and then, uh, fill, you know, put seeds in here and then water it too while we're at it. And I think three rows will be fine. Just get a little bit of farming done. I'm probably exhausted now. Don't want to pass out. So we'll go to sleep. With our restless sleep, we're going to have to sleep a lot anyways. So let's go upstairs, go to sleep. Come on, let me go up here. There we go. All right, let's get our sleep and get a uh, IBC that's full and then um, fill up our other one too. We probably can fill it up real quick. All right, we're a little peckish. Food is a big problem. Man, you get hungry all the time because you're looking for high protein stuff and that's just not, I'm just not finding a lot of that. And I'm gonna sleep another four hours so that it's eight in the morning. Okay, didn't even get rid of all of our sleepiness, ah yeah, well. Uh, let's eat a little bit of food here. Um, I'm probably gonna eat these beans. They have at least more protein. So let's go ahead and open those up And then eat the beans the food thing man, it, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit of a thing You know it does it does actually cause a little bit of problems, especially with the low protein I've noticed you do get hungry faster So there we go. All right So we got all that done. We wanted to grab our IBCs real quick um, hopefully I could just put them on my packs and then we'll fill them up. I think I have a little bit of water left in the bathrooms. So we're going to go ahead and grab them and then go in the bathrooms real quick. Let's go wet. There we go. And this one should be full. It is. Can we put it in a bag? Yeah, there we go. And I don't know what I want to plant for crops because I feel like maybe some of the hydrocraft crops won't... Um, won't have any uh, proteins either so we probably should just go with the standard like tomatoes potatoes broccoli things like that strawberries and stuff stuff that we know that we can that that, that won't be a problem uh, we can fill a canteen let's go ahead and fill our canteen we'll try to get as much water as possible this one's almost empty so we're gonna put that on us and see if we can fill this up too uh, the toilets in here they don't do anything for me these toilets suck there's no water in them. Uh, fill IBC. I don't know how much water we're going to get out of this thing. Probably not much. That was probably it. Yeah. Yeah, see, look at these toilets. Oh, no. Okay, these ones are working. They weren't working for me before. For some reason, they didn't load. And is that it? No. Okay. Yeah, just keep filling the IBC up with water. And do we have any more water in there? No. Man, these IBCs take a lot of water now. Okay. And now we can drink, so there's still a little bit of water in that one. That's fine. It was these toilets that I checked last time. Well, I know the urinals, they don't let you do it, but there's no toilets in these ones. That's why. Huh? There's a toilet here, though. Okay. So we have a little bit of uh, toilet water still left. That's always nice. Kind of disgusting, but nice. And let's go plant our seeds up. 
and then we'll go ahead and get our little farm going here. All right, so what are we gonna go with? I guess I'll put one patch of hyd uh, the Hydrocraft mod stuff. Like I have these uh, green chilies. I would like to try them out. Let's uh, open one of those and the lettuce too, um, because if I could use them, I, I could make some big burgers and stuff like that. And then we'll open open carrots. And we'll open uh, broccoli. Looks good. And then let's just start putting things in here. So it's going to let me do the lettuce, um, broccoli, and carrots. So let's do lettuce in this one. And see if the lettuce actually works. I don't know if it will. All right. There goes all the lettuce. And then let's water it real quick. Um... Where's my IBC at? It should be right here, and this one should have water, but you know what? Is it not going to let me? Yeah, okay, it will let me. Uh, from the IBC, um, we could go full hundreds, but I'm not going to. I like always to go about 60, because if you notice, I'll get, like, it's at thirsty right now, and if I go another 20, so that's 70, it should be at fine. Yeah, okay, so 70 is fine. Um, 50, I think 65 is actually what it should be, but just in case there's no rain, we'll put them all at 70 is, is fine with me. Yeah, that one's good. Water, 50, and 20 more. Hopefully get a, a, a whole row per uh, IBC, maybe even a little bit more would be nice. Okay, there we go. Alrighty, uh, now we're going to go ahead and get um, some broccoli out there. Maybe I'll make another row. I think I will actually. It's our broccoli. Yeah, boring stuff, guys. You know, it's a, this is just uh, base preparation stuff. And then I'm also going to do the next boring thing, which is foraging. And I, I won't include you guys in for that. Okay, so what are we at? We're at fine on that. Okay, so we're just doing 50. So that should be that IBC. That's all of it. I think it's grabbing from my canteen right now, but we'll see. Info, okay, that's fine. And yeah, that should be all my water that I have on me. I do have an IBC on me though that we have right here. And we'll put that one on us too right now. Okay. So we got 45 on that one. We just need another 25. And then that should be, yep. And then another 50 on the 50 and 20 on here. Hopefully we get some rain here soon. So let's see if that took care of it. Yep. And uh, for our last thing, uh, sure, we'll put carrots. Why not? And I'm gonna make one more actually. I think of uh, strawberries because I do have strawberries. They grow pretty pretty fast too. Okay. I don't have any potatoes, or I mean, I probably do somewhere, but I, you know, I don't know exactly where they have them. Okay, 50 and 20. And here we go. All right, so I'll probably just put in a break for you guys because I'm probably going to go to sleep, eat some food real quick, and then we'll make another row, and then I'll do a little bit of foraging. I'll show you what I got on the foraging. And... If we got, you know, some really good stuff, you know, I'll, I'll show you and then we'll like go searching for stuff. But I don't think so, not yet. I'm foraging more for berries. I want to see if bunches of berries will still have calories on them. Uh, because there are the Hydrocraft berry bunches. Um, and I read both books, like the Herbalist book and I read um, a cooking book, I think. I can't remember which book it was, but there was two books that said bunches of berries. So I'm assuming that... I'm gonna get like a loadout for different bunches of berries, which we got before, and we're gonna have to figure out which ones are base mod berries and which ones aren't, and I think that's gonna be important for us. So let me put in a little break for you guys, and I think I'm done with the crops for right now, and then I'll just do some foraging. We'll get some berries and then test out uh, which berries are gonna work and which ones won't. All right, see you in a bit. All right, you guys. So I've done quite a bit of foraging now. Um, all I've, got, I've been getting a lot of berries, but I got um, seven fresh berries and a whole bunch of poisonous berries. I know if you combine them, uh, you can make other stuff with them. But let's see if we can uh, see which ones are going to give us anything, if at all. So we have like one, like look at all these different types of bunches of berries we have. Um, I'm assuming I'm going to start with like this one right here. 
and let's see what that does. Okay, so this bunch of berries has no uh, calories at all, so I'm assuming that's the Hydrocraft one. If we make a bunch of berries like the bottom one, what does that do for us? I I'm thinking all of them are, are going to be Hydrocraft ones, and then that's yeah, you know, this is not going to do it for us. Um, we'll eat one of them. Um, we'll eat these ones and then see if we can start this over again. I'm probably going to have to get some more berries, though. Yeah, I'm running out of berries, so I'm not going to be able to probably make another one right now. Uh, we can make one more. Okay, so this one, okay, so this one gives us a list of things we can use. So this one has a huge list. That one has a smaller list. And that one's even smaller. I'm thinking the smallest one is the best chances for us to make an actual bunch of berries that works and it's still not giving us what we need so um i'll continue looking through that and seeing if there is any bunches of berries that actually gives us calories which i don't think it, i don't know if they do and i don't even know if the basic uh regular uh mod without it um i don't even you know i think about it i don't even know if you can make it in regular but yeah but it looks like uh bunches of berries they're just going to be uh you know good for unhappiness basically and that's about it, so we can eat all those, it really doesn't matter. Um, I've also been finding a lot of deer poop already, so we could go hunting for deer. Um, and then we can make steaks out of those, which isn't a bad idea. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind making some steaks. Um, we can get, um, well, we have guns and stuff. We have shotguns and stuff, so I could probably hunt a deer with, like, um, I don't know. I wonder if you can hunt them with a shotgun. I don't think you can, actually. I think it's just birds and stuff. But we could get a bow, an arrow. We could do all that. That wouldn't be a problem. So that that's pretty much it for today, though. So we got our crops uh, put down, at least some of them. I might put some more in uh, in between the episodes. Um, we knocked down the stairs so this place is more safe. Uh, we added a whole bunch of sheet ropes so we can get up and down. And and did our, did our foraging and see if bunches of berries actually can work for us. Um, other than that though, um, we're going to, I, I did get like other things like ginseng and stuff, which is nice, uh, for our endurance and that doesn't have any calories either. And I know that's base game. So, um, that's a little interesting to me that that didn't have any calories. Um, there's other things that, that we did get. I did put them all inside and let's see, I put them in this box right here. So I want to kind of take a look through some of this stuff. So we still can, you know, we can use a lot of these things for remedies, you know, mild pain relief, black sage is good, uh, comfrey is good for aiding in the, you know, broken bones and things like that, My, um, common mallow, uh, if I get some rosebuds, maybe we'll see if those actually provide calories, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, what else do we have in here? We have our straw and stuff, but we're going to need that to feed cows and pigs and things like that. Um, so we might have to like go a hunting strap for the winter and uh, get a whole bunch of steaks I think as long as we if we make steaks and cook them up I think that'll be good and we'll probably build like a campfire right like out here so then we can cook them and stuff like that Or maybe up on the roof. Yeah roof campfire sounds a little safer and then we can do all of our cooking up there So that's the beginning of the base We finally got it all the way secured to where we can be safe and not have to worry about zombies while we sleep um, we would like to go into town maybe again, but um, I think I'm going to get into a lot more of the crafting for the next couple ep episodes. So we're going to definitely be uh, creating a lot of the things that we need around the house. Like uh, get the blast furnace going, get an anvil going, hopefully get our smithy hammer pretty soon. Uh, skill points are pretty low right now. Uh, we are working on getting our blunt uh, maintenance up just one more level and then we can actually make the smithy hammers and once we make those smithy hammers then we have access to a lot more things that we can craft so i think that'll be it for today guys so i hope you guys did enjoy this episode if you did go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see further take it easy you guys thank you for watching and have a wonderful day